Welcome to Engineering Influence, a podcast from the American Council of Engineering Companies. This week we have our new XCOM orientation. It's when uh, the incoming vice chairs and our chair elect kind of come in and get an information download on everything ACEC National, not only uh, kind of what the roles and responsibilities are to XCOM, but then everything else that we do, uh, department by department. And uh, it's a two day session. And uh, one of the uh, victims of the two-day session is James Hoffman, incoming vice chair. Um, you are a present CEO of Summer Associates. Summer Consultants. So, yeah. Summer Consultants. My apologies. Uh, fellow Penn Stater. So, uh, so we are. Um, and uh, it's it's very uh, very pleased to have you part of the program this week and and to come on to the podcast. Uh, tell us a little bit about your journey in ACEC and kind of. What led you to become part of the executive committee and national volunteer leadership? Well, absolutely. So uh, my experience uh, has been um, largely with national mm -hmm. um, and taking part in the federal agencies and procurement advocacy committee. Yes. So I did that um, early on mm -hmm. uh, and just participating in that and moving through as the small business mm -hmm. subcommittee chair, uh, the vice chair, and then mm -hmm. the chair. And then also in parallel had um, went through the ACC Metropolitan Washington group mm -hmm. and taking on the various positions through chair and past chair and whatnot. And uh, you have also the background, you were uh, uh, an engineer in the U.S. Army, uh, commissioned officer and an Army uh, engineer, uh, which which is critically important with the procurement work that's being done uh, with uh, with Dan Hilton and the team up here. Um, you, you know, looking at all those issues, I mean, we always have, you know, uh, the regular policy issues that come up, we're looking, of course, towards the next infrastructure bill, whatever happens after IIJA. We've got um, an election year, which is uh, already contentious, and we have all these different issues kind of facing the industry. What are you looking to bring to XCOM? What do you want, really want to focus in on and, and kind of make, leave as your stamp on, on the committee? Uh, well, so first of all, I think that, you know, ACC, uh, you know, is um, mm -hmm. comprised of members, and there, there are so many. And yeah. so, you know, my firm um, is indicative of the smaller size. And so I'm interested, first of all, in, in bringing the uh, small firm perspective. Yeah. Also looking to bring the, um, the systems perspective or mechanical, electrical, pl and plumbing engineers, mm -hmm. fire protection engineers, um, you know, to, to that conversation and whatnot. The, um, The, I think the issues of the day is, is we, we take a look at them when we interact with our, our cl um, clients and mm -hmm. whatnot. Um, you know, the uh, qualification-based issues, yeah. uh, the partnering that's been undertaking mm -hmm. with the, the Corps of Engineers, yes. uh, you know, reaching out and you know, really rising to the challenge mm -hmm. uh, the Corps um, has uh, brought to us. So really excited about continuing to support that process. Mm -hmm. So, you know, new, new to the executive committee as the vice chair. Yeah. And for this very first year, actually really interested in being supportive mm -hmm. of the chair uh, and collaborating and, and yeah. learning and whatnot and, and, and understanding this new stage. Yes. Because um, this is a brand new experience and uh, there's a lot to be learned and really um, to go ahead and advocate for the business of engineering. It's a really exciting opportunity Absolutely. to partake with, the, you know, the very talented folks, you know, the... Um, the volunteer folks yeah. and the professional staff that you know you, you all are so excellent in all the things that you do and really you know let, put us in a great position to be successful mm -hmm. uh, in, in in the marketplace and for the business of engineering. Well, thank you. Yeah, uh, I, I, you mentioned the playbook with the Army Corps. I think that's a critical. Uh, that's a great example because we are right there helping design that playbook for the design services industry and how it interacts with the Corps. Uh, and I think it's a good example of how. The council can really, it's positioned in a unique way to be able to not just help influence existing regulatory policy or existing procurement policy, but also to help shape the future of how the federal government works with the industry, uh, whether it's the core or whether it's DOD or, or, or whoever state, whoever needs to be doing these projects. Um, and I think it's a it's a good example of why members, regardless of firm size, should be really active in the council because they they can lend their voice and actually achieve something at a pretty high level. Um, 
you know, what would you say to CEOs of firms of your size or smaller on, you know, really that, that value proposition of why they should be not only members, but engaged members with the council? Well, I, I think that the only way we can really recognize the true value of any membership mm -hmm. is, is active participation. Yeah. So to um, go ahead and to make our voices heard, to share those perspectives, um, to get involved both locally and the member organizations are fantastic. Yeah. To get involved nationally uh, about the in the different areas that someone might have a passion in, mm -hmm. in the area where they might want to have influence in. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, firms of all sizes can be successful and we literally need everyone. Yeah. We need the largest firms and we need the smallest firms. Mm -hmm. And when we go through the various issues that come up in the regulatory process, uh, you know, there's different working groups, and mm -hmm. it's it's vitally important that everyone shows up. Um, if I just look at, you know, my journey, mm -hmm. um, uh, some of the most valuable information that I've received to help us be a better engineering company mm -hmm. is in the context of the Small Firms Coalition. Yeah. And the education that has been provided, mm -hmm. and that, that small group of peers, but mm -hmm. not necessarily peers in the same location, yeah. but nationally. So you can have um, uh, uh, a conversation. Mm -hmm. It's discreet. You know, you're not having it with your competitors. Exactly. Uh, but you yeah. can go ahead and, and learn from people in these best practices, so we can all, you know, it, it become more mm -hmm. successful. You get a and, national, regional perspective. Uh, the coalitions are great because, yeah, that's by discipline, right? So you could be in an MEP engineer in in Washington D.C., but you're talking to somebody who might be in Nevada. And, and, and you might get a better perspective of business and maybe how things happen or, or, or trends. And it's a, it's a great way to share information as resources, contracts, and the like. And then education, to your point, um, is, 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 is critical. Well, and the challenges of the day, right? So, yeah. you know, those discussions and when we do these CEO roundtables and they're mm -hmm. by size or whatnot. Yeah. So you have the small firm's perspective and you have the other three roundtables yeah. where we can all talk about issues that are really germane to our business, the yeah. hot topics, and, and just borrow some ideas that we mm -hmm. can make ourselves better and more successful companies. It's really been a, a fantastic experience. Absolutely. Well, James, I, I appreciate you taking the time uh, this morning before we start to uh, come onto the program and and. Really look forward to working with you over the year to come. A lot of interesting topics that we're going to be covering, and a lot of interesting policy areas that we're going to be involved with. So, again, thanks for uh, coming on the program. Well, um, thank you for inviting me. It's great to go ahead and have an opportunity to go ahead and chat yeah. with you for a minute. I'm really looking forward to these upcoming two years. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. And uh, Gary's going to be an exciting uh, year with Gary mm -hmm. Raba as our uh, incoming chair. Absolutely. And uh, so now, and, and again, working with the national staff, you guys are top notch, and well, appreciate it. Uh, continue to you know learn uh, from you and you all, and uh, to help uh, guide us to go ahead and make the best decisions that we can for our industry. Thank you. Well, you have an open door anytime you want to come in. So look forward to having you in the office a lot more. Um, and again, this has been Engineering Influence Podcast from the American Council of Engineering Companies. We'll see you again real soon.